Well, with time running out before tomorrow's Supreme Court hearing in Victoria, some of the Occupy Victoria protesters are choosing not to wait. Instead, today they were pulling up stakes and taking down tents. This morning, Centennial Square saw a coming together of protesters and police officers and city staff. And while the square is slightly cleaner tonight, the People's Assembly movement remains divided with some tents still standing for now. CTV's Joe Perkins reports. It was a morning that saw a first for Occupy Victoria. On behalf of calling the police down here to assist us, thank you very much. Thank you. Protesters cleaned. City staff helped. Police oversaw it all. You know, I think after the General Assembly last night, there was some sort of consensus among some of the campers that they were going to start taking some of the stuff down. This morning, the city got a phone call from one of the protesters asking for help in the cleanup effort. Preparations some believe are being made for the inevitable. We're, we know the injunction is going to get granted, so we're just making headway for that. And, you know, come spring, we're going to come back bigger and better than we, than we set up. The legal team representing this movement says tomorrow they'll be pushing for a couple of things. If an injunction is granted, which many say is likely, they're hoping some leniency will be given on when these tents have to be taken down. They're also hoping one or two tents will be erected permanently here in the square as a symbol of this month-long movement that appears to be coming to an end really a David and Goliath scenario, right, where you have the city uh, with, with a lot of money and a lot of resources at its disposal, uh, hiring lawyers and, 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 you know, putting out 150, 200 page legal documents. Uh, and then you have the, the People's Assembly of Victoria. A group that appears split heading into tomorrow's hearing. And I just wish that, you know, the, the people that are, are the heart and soul of this, that started this movement, didn't give up as easily as they are. The city of Vancouver is now seeking a court injunction on the grounds protesters there are trespassing. A stark contrast to today's message from Occupy Victoria. We're complying with the city, we're cleaning up the square, and we're making it back to where it was. So this is obviously the, the sort of step in the right direction. I hope that everybody will be, be vacating the square. If and when that happens, the question turns to what's next? Uh, I think that the next day is, stage is likely going to be either uh, the tactics of flash mobs or uh, short-term encampments, but I think it's fair to say that um, the, uh, the occupation of uh, Centennial Square is not going to be part of that. While some tents remain, the future of the movement is still unclear, but for now, Centennial Square is a little less occupied. And CTV's Joe Perkins joins us now live outside Centennial Square. Uh, Joe, some of the protesters chose to stay put today, at least until the injunction tomorrow. What about some of the big events coming up that are scheduled for the square? Yeah, like you said, Hudson, some people just don't want to start packing up. The Downtown Victoria Business Association had plans of building an outdoor rink behind me and opening it in just 10 days. Now the DVBA says that might not happen. There's questions and talk that the city might have to come in first and do a, a large-scale cleanup. So while there was a, a minor Minor cleanup this morning. It looks like this Occupy movement might have some longer lasting effects uh, to the city of Victoria. Hudson? Uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Joe Perkins, thank you.